I was just watching uh, Frankie Mohammed's latest video, and he was talking about a particular AMC YouTuber who basically, um, as Frankie was saying, you know, should just basically stop being a bully, keep his mouth shut, stop acting like he's, uh, you know, a know-it-all, he runs the show, you know, he's uh, always... Uh, talking all kinds of gob garbage about, you know, what he thinks is right, what he thinks is going to happen, what he's calling. I mean, it sounds like he's talking about J. Lou. <laughs> I mean, he didn't say anybody's name, but it's, it. I, I mean, I don't think he's talking about me because he said something about delisting AMC, and that's something I would never say. So I certainly don't think he's talking about me. It sounds like he's talking about Lou. Look, I've been calling out Lou the Fraud since day one. Since day one that I started my YouTube channel. Okay, I, I listen to me. I'm going to tell you the truth. When I first came into the scene like an idiot, I kind of took this guy seriously because he sounded very knowledgeable. See, that's the thing with Lou. He's very, like, he has charisma. You know, he sounded very knowledgeable to me, and, and I and I kind of took him seriously. But see, as the, the months were going on, I started noticing that nothing that Lou was saying, well, first of all, was coming true. Nothing came to fruition. And then all the and the way he presented himself, that he was this big Wall Street guy, had all these connections, had all this money. I started noticing how, how can a guy who's in Central Park every single day with no car, with no home, he's always uh, behind the white building, that looks like a halfway house. It, it, it just, too many things started popping in my head. There's something rotten in Denmark with this guy. And slowly but surely, I'm building a following. I'm building a following now of AMC apes who are starting to see exactly that Lou was a con man. Because this guy was very well loved. I mean, he's still well loved. He's still well loved. But the difference is, I think people are starting to catch on to him now. They start to catch on that he has no idea what he's talking about. He has no connections. You know what I mean? He just He's just a guy who hit on a subject that was very hot, AMC, and just keeps making videos about it because it makes some money. That's it. He makes up a story very similar to Walt Disney. Every day he'll just come, come out with something. And sometimes I feel like um, just to break everybody's balls, I do the same thing. Like, I think uh, yesterday I made, like, five or seven videos that were complete, like, you know, bullshit stories. <laughs> like, the DTCC is in secret, like, meetings with banks. Come on. There were actually people believing this shit. They're like, really? They're in secret meetings with banks right now? No, this is the type of thing that Lou does. He comes up with these fantasy stories, like Fantasy Island. Remember Tattoo? The plane, the plane. He comes out with these like Peter Pan stories and everybody believes it. I mean, I, I heard this guy say stories that he was brokering deals. Remember with J.P. Morgan? He was sitting down with the executive committee. Then he was turning down tens of millions of dollars from corrupt banks. This guy's got so many stories. I mean, it goes on and on and on. Judgment Day was apparently last week at Past the Spy. No one seems to care. <laughs> yeah, just keeps going on and on and on. All right. So, Frankie Mohammed, I know you don't want to mention his name. I'm mentioning it. So, so listen to me. You're not mentioning it. I just want you to understand this. You're not mentioning it. I'm mentioning it. Lou is 100% a fraud, a crook, whatever you want to call him, a shell. I call him J. Lou. I call him Walt Disney Lou. I call him Mr. Clean. I call him Uncle Festa. I call him Tyrone and Jamal's boy toy. Whatever you want to call him, the guy is a fraud.